Steve Milhausen here at UFC on Fox 2 post fight. We're here with Mike Russell, he defeated John Olev Animo. Were you shocked at all, Mike, that you know that someone did give John a round? Because it looked like you did control the whole fight. Yeah, I mean, I was surprised how the takedowns went. Were, you know, were so easy. Um, you know, the, my game plan was kind of go out there and keep it on the feet, and you know, and take a take down when I uh, see the opportunity. But uh, that kind of just went out the window. Um, just, you know, the takedowns were going, so I just kept doing them. Um, I wish I was a little bit more active in his guard, a lot more active. Because um, when I would throw elbows and punches, they would land. But I was kind of just, you know, with a guy like him, you just don't really want to extend or, or do too much because, you know, he just, that's what he's good at. And uh, so I should have picked up the pace a little bit more. Were you shocked you were able to control the ground as much as you did? Yeah, I was. I mean, I mean, the guy was, the guy's a world champion. I mean, uh, you know, but I, I'm blessed. I have, you know, my coach was a seven-time uh, world champion in Comprito, and, uh, you know, I've been working with him since 07, so, I mean, he's definitely helped me a lot. You came out to a Chicago White Sox head. I didn't know you. You told me earlier in the week that you weren't even a baseball fan. No, I'm not. It was, it was um, I think it was like a minor league baseball team, to tell you the truth. So, oh, someone told me it was a white Chicago White Sox head. No, I think it was like a minor league baseball team, you know, <laughs> one of the sponsors, so I threw it on there. Now, let's, how did it feel you're walking out there and you get that standing ovation? You know, because usually sometimes you get that hometown crowd, they really, you know, don't really have that effect on fighters. Did it have a big effect on you walking into the cage more than you expected? Yeah, I mean, you know, I was backstage and you could just hear them. Um, yeah, I mean, this, is, this, this fight was really special. I mean, this is something I'm going to remember always and uh, hope I get the opportunity to come back when they come back again. I mean, this was awesome. You're 4-0 in the heavyweight division. And I remember we were talking earlier in the week, and you had said you want to fight more and more and more. When do you want to fight again this year? I would, hopefully I could get something like June or July. I think that would work out perfect. And then hopefully, you know, get a win, and then maybe November, December, and I think that would work out great. You're 15-1, and 4-0, like I said, in the UFC. Who do you want next? You know, do you feel like you're ready to that upper echelon of the heavyweight division, a top-10 opponent? I definitely think so. Um, obviously, i got to put a lot more work. But... Uh, yeah, I do. Um, one guy I wouldn't mind fighting. That actually, he called me out because I usually don't. I don't like calling people out. That's just not my style. But uh, Travis, uh, I think Travis Brown, he's kind of been on the internet uh, calling me out. So I, mean, I wouldn't uh, mind that fight. What was he saying about you? Just that he wanted to fight me. Basically, that's it. <laughs> what do you think of him as a fighter? Um, I think he's got a good stand-up. You know, he's a tough guy. Mike, congratulations on the victory. Hey, thank you.